Well, hello, my fellow dog loving YouTubers and Facebookers. I'm Will. This is Bad Dog You, bringing balance to packs everywhere, and I welcome you to their Canine Training Tip Tuesday. If you want to learn how to train your own dog the easy way, consider subscribing. On this episode, we're going to show you how to socialize a dog that's hard to socialize. If it sounds difficult, it's not. So stay tuned, cue the intro, because we're getting into it right now. Let's get right into this. There's no guarantee that other dog owners are going to allow social interactions with your dog when you're out on walk. Some people will be happy to do so. And in some areas, most people don't even want to look at you. In the case of the latter, try to find a couple dog owning friends or neighbors who are willing to spend some time helping you out with this. Then all you have to do is decide which yard, your yard or their yard, just as long as it's a fenced in yard. Once a willing neighbor and backyard has been acquired, bring the unsocialized dog into the backyard first. Let them Explore the area as they want on their time and don't give them a specific time limit. Try to find some difference in their body language that lets you know that, okay, my dog is now comfortable with this area. So let them sniff around on their time until they become comfortable with the area they're in. Then once that dog is calm, i.e. not excited, not dominant, not trying to be protective of the area, then you can bring in the second dog. And a very important thing here is when, when you bring the second dog in, make sure you don't force them to meet. Let the second dog do the same thing the first dog did. Let them sniff around, and then eventually they will find each other on their own time by following the nose. But make sure you have a leash on each dog by the time they find each other. Because you want to be ready with that leash pop, that leash correction for the aggressor. Whichever dog is the one that, that starts a fight, if, if a fight starts. Another good tip here is to make sure that the aggressive dog has a muzzle on just to make sure the other dog, yourself, your friend, your neighbor, doesn't get bit if there is an attack. If there is an attack, even with the muzzle on, make sure you give a good hard leash correction always to the side, never back or up as to put any excessive pressure on their trachea. You can also use a bonker, which is a rolled up piece of towel with a rubber band on either end so it stays rolled up and you can bonk with that. That's a really good tool and you can smack yourself as hard as you can and you notice that you can't possibly hurt yourself. So one thing I always say is the two best ways to snap a dog out of a particular mindset or behavior is to startle them out of it or annoy them out of it. So a bonker will startle them out of it. You can hit them as hard as you can, not that I'm saying you try to hit them off, but you can hit anything as hard as they can and they're not gonna get hurt. Or use whatever disciplinary actions are consistent in your training regimen. So try this several times. Try it three to five times a week, over three to five weeks. And if everything goes well, then bring in a second dog. You can bring that first one dog in if you want to, or just, you know, have that dog do whatever and then they call another neighbor or friend to come with the second dog or have the first one come in and then bring in a second dog. So there's three dogs all together all trying to sniff around and again, let them find each other naturally. So basically what we wanna do is we wanna repeat this exercise until it becomes no big deal, just an everyday thing for another dog to come in to their area and they sniff and they play and everything's fine. And once it becomes no big deal, then explore outside, go outside on walks and look for people with the dog and see if and see how it goes. Again, if your dog will bite somebody or another dog, use a muzzle for your safety, the other human safety, as well as the other dog's safety. That's about it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Will. This is Bad Dog You, bringing balance to packs everywhere. Don't forget to click that notification bell when you subscribe to so be notified of next week's canine training tip videos. Smash that like button if you like this video or you found it helpful. And let me know in the comment section below what topics you'd like to see in future canine training tip videos. So until next time, remember, be the pack leader and be safe. Woo!